Hello everyone. So if you are like me, if you manage your files uh, on your own local computer, then uh, you might want to also take a look at this uh, utility called uh, EXIF tool. Now, the main reason for using this uh, utility for me is to basically remove the metadata. Now, not really all the information from the image. For example, when you take a picture, <clears throat> usually there is, uh, uh, not, not usually, but there will be some metadata that you, that will be stored. And this metadata is definitely useful because uh, maybe you want to do something with the image and uh, you may want to know, of course, uh, apart from the date when the image was taken, but you may also want to know, let us say the camera or maybe the location. Now, apart from doing uh, the reading part, because when you are organizing your images, you may want to read this information because you can easily do it with the help of uh, EXIF tool. You can also delete something and that is what I do a lot. I normally delete uh, the location, the GPS location from my images if I have to share those images online. Uh, and this is something that I start, started doing. Of course, uh, this has to be, I think, a norm. Everyone should probably do it or maybe just disable it. I, I don't really disable the location information from my mobile phone because when you, when you take a picture, in fact, in your camera settings or in your, not camera, but in your uh, Android phone or whatever phone that you're using settings, there is an, there, there is an option to, you know, disable it. So <clears throat> let us take a look at it. It's a very simple tool, to be honest. So let me first show you how to install this. So if you're on, if, if you're on um, Arch Linux, you can install it, install it using Pacman. And the exact command is Perl hyphen image hyphen exif tool. Very simple. It will take a uh, few seconds to install. And when you install it, of course, you know, you can start using it. And uh, to, to use it, of course, you can read the man page. And to be honest, there are so many things that you can do <laughs> when it comes to uh, this tool. But if you simply run this command, exif tool, and if you run it on uh, your image, you can see a lot of information. So let me just do something like this. So we have, of course, uh, the file name and the file modification date and file type and uh, this, you know, MIME type. This is, of course, important because based on this, you can do a lot of wonderful things like organize your files. You can see the camera model. You can see the orientation and, uh, you know, so many other things, details that might be helpful. I don't really do a lot these days with my images. I used to take a lot of pictures with my DSLR. Uh, I still carry it with me uh, quite regularly, but uh, I don't massively do photography all the time these days because I don't really, I don't really have that much time. Uh, but maybe one day. But the main thing is that you do have this uh, location information and this location information can be uh, useful if you are trying to organize your images uh, later on or maybe if you are using some tool to view these images on, uh, let us say, a map. And uh, uh, this is something that you may want to remove. For example, this these tags. And of course, you can do something like uh, this. If you want, you can do crep and then type in here GPS and then you can only fetch the GPS information. So this is fine, but I may want to, of course, you know, disable it or not disable it, but remove it completely. So there is actually a way to do it. So all you need to do, you just need to use this command exif tool and then I do something like, like minus or hyphen GPS colon all and then equal to. So this is like the format or the way that you can and the, the, I mean, you, you can also remove all the meta, meta, metadata, but I don't really want to, to remove each and everything. I just want to remove the GPS metadata. So I can actually do it from this image, image.jpg. And if I run this, it will uh, basically remove it. And that is it. So if you now try to do the same thing, it will not show you anything with GPS, but uh, it will definitely preserve and uh, it will keep everything else. So this is something that I thought I'll, you know, show you in case you want to do something. And, and of course, you know, um, you should script it because why not? You can also do this, some, you can also do the same thing using uh, image magic, but image magic, as far as I uh, understand, based on my online research, uh, 
uh, it will remove uh, everything, like all the metadata, not really selective metadata from your image. So EX, e EXIF tool can do it. So I, I, I think uh, this can be a really, really nice way to, you know, make sure that you don't really share your images, at least private images online with your GPS location. And that is it. That is it for today. I hope this video was useful and you learned something new. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.